Yar me mighties. Today is officially Talk Like a Pirate Day, and I cannot talk like a pirate. So I'll leave that to you. I really do have to practice for next year. But there is important pirate related news, which is why I'm making this video. Which is that in Berlin, which is both the capital of Germany, a big city, and also um, a state in Germany, so it's both a city and a state unto itself, um, the Pirate Party has for the first time won seats in a state election. And not just seats, the barrier is 5%, so they've got the 5% rule, you've got to get over 5% to get any seats. Uh, the Pirate Party had 9%, so they're going to have 10 seats. And this is the first time in German history that they've gotten any seats, which I'm very excited about. Now you may ask, what is the Pirate Party about? Aside from being really cool, because it's the Pirate Party. The Pirate Party is a party that is mainly concerned with intellectual property and basically abolishing it. Um, they are a anti-intellectual property party and they're also... Uh, for online privacy and against the state uh, snooping in on you and trying to control what you do online. I really like the fact that many people are voting for this party, especially the fact that many young people are voting for this party. And I mean, there's two big reasons why I like this. The first part is that I really do think that this is a party that can, to some extent, capture the interest of young people in a way that all of these stale parties, including the left-wing parties, uh, have not been able to do. But the second and more important one is because I think that property as a concept is such an important issue to tackle for someone left-wing like me, who does not believe in property, that a popular movement which might tackle intellectual property initially, that throws into question the idea of property itself. And that to me is very important. Um, I mean, the fact that people, that there's at least, there are people in this world who are asking that question again, is to me exciting because it's been a question that really hasn't been asked in a very long time by anyone except a couple of people on the sidelines as much as people talk about all kinds of socialist revolutions and Obama taking over the US with his socialism there has been no discussion of these concepts which a socialist like myself um, really does want discussed. I personally would not vote for the Pirate Party, and that's because they're really kind of a one-issue party. So it's all about intellectual property and privacy, but they don't have any real economic policy, any real social policy, and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, as I said, I think for people that are on the left, people like me that believe in the commons and that believe in the idea that both Earth's resources um, and its fruits as well as the intellectual fruits of humanity should be shared in common, both because that is the just thing and because that is the most productive thing. To people like us, I think it should be exciting, and we should, um, we should be quite supportive of the pirate party and their their aims, because while I think they're too narrow for me to directly support them, um, in an election they are certainly a part of a greater debate that I think the world needs to have again. Anyways, I'll see you guys all later. Church of SDFU.